We are back with some more Panthers franchise, and we are into the final preseason week. We have just cut down the 53, so this will be just a quick video talking about who we cut, the upcoming schedule, you know, just getting things situated for this season to finally, finally begin. I mean, it did begin with preseason, but meaningful games are just around the corner. Before we get into all that, I'm gonna update on some trades. As you can see, we have made one more trade as well, probably the last trade I make this season. So, pretty solid trade. I wasn't really seeking it out, but I think I'm okay with it. But let's update you on the trades. So first one we got is the Dolphins sent tight end Elijah Higgins to the Falcons, and the Falcons sent a 2024 fifth round pick. The next trade we have is the um, Ravens sent a 2025 sixth round pick to the Colts, and the Colts sent cornerback or Tony Tony Brown. Can't talk apparently. Next trade we got is the where is it? The Cardinals sent a 2024 fourth round pick to the 49ers, and the 49ers sent cornerback Ambry Thomas. And then the last trade is the trade that I have made with the Cleveland Browns. He reached out for me for a backup outside linebacker. Um, we were originally set on a 2024 fourth round pick, but he did not have that. So then it was possibly I give him a fifth and or I, I don't give him my fifth round and he just gives me a fifth this year and a fifth next year. And I thought, you know what, how about in 2025? That seems to be the year we're stockpiling picks. So in 2025, I gave him a fifth round pick and he gives me his third round pick. So I lose excuse me, a fringe outside linebacker. He maybe makes the squad, maybe makes the practice squad. He's got a lot of speed, so if I needed to develop someone, I, he would be great. He's got like 92 speed, which is kind of crazy for edge rusher. But I thought a third round pick, swap. I just swap with the fifth. We move up two rounds. We lose a player that we're probably never going to use. So I thought that'd be a perfect trade for us. And that got us to 53 just like that. So we're going to update you on the draft picks out of this offseason. We acquired a first. And we acquired a third. So we're looking pretty good for next draft. This draft's still a little sketch. As you can see, second, third, and fourth round pick. Um, you know, no first. We got a couple fifths, which is nice, and a sixth. But you never know what those can land. We can get lucky, maybe. But it's a little tough for those rounds. And in 2025 is the big one. Two firsts, two thirds, a fourth, sixth, and a seventh. So um, looking a little bit better on the draft capital side. The other thing that I never really talked about with these first round picks is we will probably never have to pay them the whole entire Madden cycle. They all get their fifth year option. If we play six seasons, they'll be drafted in the second season and they can play to finish out their whole entire season on a rookie deal. So that's what's really important about these two first rounds here. That's why I was open to waiting a year because then these two guys here never have to pay. They'll hopefully whoever I draft with those picks can be full-time starters and they can sit on their rookie deal the rest of this Madden. So, Pretty hyped about that, um, especially because that's a guy I never really was going to develop. Um, I'm recording this video before I posted the week three video, so I'm not sure what you guys said about the roster stuff there. So when we get into starters and stuff for like our rookie strong safety or the guard, I'm not sure if you guys have said anything in that video. So I'll we'll have to just wait and see. Um, but I will show you guys just who we cut. Um, a lot of people, we signed a lot of the practice squad as well. It's probably people you really just don't even know unless you're a Panthers fan. I didn't really know any of these bozos. So we'll go ahead and fly all the way down here. Um, Mr. Matt went to the practice squad. I put both these running backs on the practice squad as well. Mr. Cameron Peoples and Spencer Brown. We released quite a bit. Um, receivers, Gary Jennings and Jennings and Javon Wims. We also released tight end JJ Jansen and Steven Sullivan. I'm pretty sure one of these guys is their long snapper in real life because he's like a 30 overall in Madden, so makes sense. I kind of wish Madden would just spe specifically give him like a long snapper position. That would be kind of interesting. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe the better the long snapper you have, the less likely you're at have to people block your kicks or something. I don't know, I thought I think that'd be kind of cool instead of just making him a 30 overall tight end. Released a couple guards, Michael Jordan and uh, Michael Jordan, that's a crazy ass name, and Deontay Brown. We signed our guard, Cade Mays, to the practice squad, released left end Raekwon Williams and middle linebacker Jordan Thomas and Mr. Bumper Pool. That's kind of a cool name when I was looking through that. Got rid of some safeties, Josh Thomas and Sam Franklin, and got rid of some corners to finish it off with Herb Miller, Stanley Thomas. Um, we did assign this man to the practice squad, 
And then that put us to 54. And then the trade that we just made, losing on Mr. Amari Barno. I think that's how you say his name. He went to the Browns, so that got us to 53. And in the preseason, we acquired two draft picks for 2025 with players who we probably don't even aren't even going to reach the starting lineup. So I think that's pretty good. A first and a third for players who won't reach the starting lineup besides maybe like CJ. He was like the closest one. Marshall wasn't going to use. And the outside linebacker in the um, Rams trade, I wasn't really going to use him either. So that's one thing about this Panthers roster is – their outside linebacker depth is insane. Like they got a lot of depth outside linebacker. It's kind of crazy. So this is how the offense is going to look. The only question is this right here. Do I start the guard or do I start Christensen? I'm not too sure yet. Other than that, we're rolling out Mingo at wide receiver one. He's been good in the preseason. He's been up one already went up a couple overalls, which is great. Um, obviously, Miles is the starter. DJ Chark, I'm still going to roll with him. He hasn't been too crazy for us in preseason. We'll see how the regular season goes. Um, Thielen's still in the slot. Obviously, Bryce is our quarterback. The only thing, like I said, that might change from here to week one is one of these guys. And um, if I, whichever, whoever I'm rolling, I'm sticking with all season long unless they're absolutely atrocious. So either we roll with the rookie and try to develop and see where he goes, or we start with Christensen, just get the better player out there, and then worry about drafting another guard down the road. Defense, pretty similar with the offense. Everything's what it's been besides strong safety um our linebackers i thought about maybe you know developing mr smith here but Dion jones has been great for us in preseason he's been very very solid so i'm gonna rock with Dion and shaq as my two middle linebackers frankie and brian burns obviously the outside linebackers jeremy chin's obviously our free safety we got jc and dante jackson as our outside guys with byron in the slot perfect defensive line is scary it needs help um but it's all we got it's all we got. So that's the defensive line. The only question is right here. Do I roll out Von Bell, who's the way better player right now, 84 overall, but he's up there in age, not part of the long-term plans? Or do I give this man, Mr. Robinson, a chance? Rookie, fifth round pick, I believe. He's a 69 overall. He's very young, 22, but has great, great stats to build off of. The acceleration hit power is all I need. I mean, if, I, if he has 94 acceleration, good hit power, we can work on it. He's got big hitter and high motor already, which is great. Um, he's the only question mark on the defensive side. And like I said with the offense, it's if I if I roll out Jamie Robinson week one, I'm sticking with him all year long, and he's going to be our strong safety probably the whole entire batting cycle unless he's that bad. So I can't trade Von Bell. He's got three years on his deal, on a three-year deal, I believe. So we have to usually wait. If they're on a second contract in the NFL, then we have to wait until their contract's halfway up to be traded. Usually odd numbers are kind of, we have a little bit of a leeway with them. So Mr. Bell, I might be able to trade in the off season, this coming off season after the regular season's over. We could try to get him for just a mid-ish pick because he is kind of older. So not many people are going to want him. So I'm not too sure what we'll get for him. But, um, you know, probably a mid-round pick is that what I would guess. But if we can develop this man, he could be an absolute monster. I mean, he really can. 69 overall is not that bad as a rookie. So... I'm interested. I'm still on the, on the fence with those two rookie decisions. My at guard and strong safety. The rest is just set in stone. I'm not too worried about the specialist packages that have been the same all the time. My rush outside, my rush um, defensive ends are Brian Burns, Frankie. You know, you got Derek Brown in the middle. You got Adithi in the slot. So nothing really too new there. Um, my lawn guys are here. So if you hear my dogs barking at them, um, I apologize. We're almost done with this. Just want to make a quick video updating everything so that way week one's just smooth sailing. Last thing we're going to look at is our schedule, and it is tough, man. It really is. Our division is no joke. The Falcons we play twice a year. They were in our division last Madden when we were the um, Texans. He was the Jags, so the Jags gave us some run for our money quite a bit. He actually won the division in the last season where we won the Super Bowl. He out beat, He had 13 wins. I had 12, I believe, so... The Falcons could give us some run for our money. The Saints are very good as well. He was um, the Cardinals at the very end of last season for us when we were the Texans, and he smacked me. So the Saints are going to be difficult. The Seahawks are going to be very difficult. Kylo, I'm sure some of you guys remember this name. Um, he just won like three Super Bowls, I think, last season here. So that's going to be a tough game. Not only do we play the Saints twice and the Falcons twice, we got to play the Seahawks. 
And then we got a couple games here. I'm not too familiar with these two. Obviously, the Lions we just played, so that went down to the you know two point conversion to win it. So that was a close game. Then we got Texans, Colts. Another user, I think he won two Super Bowls in this league last year, so or he definitely was been to a couple. I know that for sure. So another very very tough opponent there. The Cowboys is an old user. If you guys remember the Giants days, he was the Cowboys when we were the Giants, and me and him had some battles. I mean, it, it just goes on and on and on. This 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 freaking schedule is insane. So. It's going to be a grind. We have a week seven bye a little bit earlier, so we'll see how we, especially through these first three. I mean, all three of these opponents are all playoff teams, 100%. So getting through those first three is going to be tough. Um, we'll have to, you know, hopefully we play good. My dogs are losing it. Hopefully my mic, I don't think my mic should pick it up, but they're absolutely going buck wild. But that is that for the preseason. It's finally over. Next episode's regular season action. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.